as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a devotional by Ellen G. White. To weep or to rejoice. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Jeremiah 8.20 I appeal to the members of our churches not to disregard the fulfilling of the signs of the times, which say so plainly that the end is near. Oh, how many who have not cared for the salvation of their souls will soon make the bitter lamination. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. Oh, that we would remember that it is caught weak with us, and that our cases are pending. Now is the time to watch and pray, to put away all self-indulgence, all pride, all selfishness, the precious moments that are now by many worse than then wasted should be spent in meditation and prayer. Many of those who profess to be keeping the commandments of God are following inclination instead of duty. As they are now, they are unworthy of eternal life. To these careless, indifferent ones, I would say, your vain thoughts, your unkind words, your selfish acts are recorded in the book of heaven. The angels that were present at Belshazzar's idolatrous reverie stand beside you as you dishonor your redeemer sadly they turn away grieved that you should thus crucify him afresh and put him to open shame on christ's coronation day he will not acknowledge as his any who bear spot or wrinkle or any such thing but to his faithful ones he will give crowns of immortal glory those who would not that he should reign over them will see him surrounded by the army of the redeemed, each of whom bears the sign, the Lord of Righteousness. They will see the head once crowned with thorns, crowned with a diadem of glory. In that day the redeemed will shine forth in the glory of the Father and his Son. The angels of heaven, touching their golden harps, will welcome the king and those who are the trophies of his victory, those who have been washed and made white in the blood of the Lamb. A song of triumph will peal forth, filling all heaven. Christ has conquered. He enters the heavenly courts, accompanied by his redeemed ones, the witnesses that his mission of suffering and self-sacrifice has not been vain.